Caddis Maximus here. We got the 18 inch <laughs> O'Reilly's Power Torque. They call this the Pop Lock locking type extension. This one happened to be in half inch drive. It was actually the only one on the shelf that I saw. And uh, it was 17 bucks and I decided to pick it up. Uh, I've probably seen it a million times and actually decided to try it out and actually and <laughs> am finding I probably should have tried it out a little earlier. It's a pretty nice tool. It is Taiwanese made. I like that it has a hex on it. 22 millimeter or 7 eighths but of course you know so you can use a wrench or anything like that um, and if a lot of people may not have wrenches quite that big and you can always get one of these adapt three quarter inch adapters and <laughs> use that with it anyway the big uh, claim is the way that this extension has this two piece here and that would be different from other styles of locking extensions like uh, <laughs> this Pittsburgh and what I really liked about it is because it's super easy to use unbelievably easy to use it's probably the easiest mechanism i've ever encountered for you know putting on or removing sockets uh since the ball detent was invented like a century ago or a lot lo older than uh that and so one of the big deals about this is the way that when it's fully extended the ball protrudes pretty far and so like with cheaper uh, locking extensions we can see that the ball does not protrude quite as far and then if you press on it it still will retract even a little bit more. And even though this one works, many times you get a locking extension and it's really just barely holding onto the socket. So that's the big deal about this power torque. I like that it has knurling. Once again, the hex. So it's kind of, I thought, would be an optimal ex extension for spark plug sockets. Since this is a uh, 5 8 that collar is about the uh, same diameter, so it shouldn't really interfere in most situations. The worst scenario I could think of is maybe if you're pushing it through hoses, uh, you may lose the socket. If you're doing any kind of production work where time is money, then nothing beats this because it's just super light, you know. So much easier. You may say, oh, you know, a ball detent, but pushing a socket on and yank him off of uh, extension, it's actually a lot <laughs> slower and uh, more effort than just slapping a socket onto this and then just yanking it off either hand probably going to do this 300 times in this video because the action is just really nice. So what they've done is they have like a square broached inside of this and then they undercut it so it can slide back and forth on the end of the extension bar. And then how it's all retained is they have this little nub is actually forged or machined into the extension itself. And then there's like a little uh, valley with the ball falls into. And then they actually just do the little uh, retention press for the ball and that's what holds it all together so the worst case scenario is if you're yanking on it so hard that you actually break this little tip off internally but it's really solid because of the way the whole mechanism slides back you can just put a socket on there regardless of how greasy or slippery your hands are it's just so easy and then once it's on there you know unless that collar gets pushed back separately from the socket it's not going to come off and what's also really nice about it is that it's a captured system so the harder that you're pulling on it yanks this collar out harder which forces the ramp harder against the ball so when you put on the socket you know you can yank literally as hard as this little until this little metal tang breaks off it's really a pretty ingenious design even if you get a little bit of a touch of extra play with this collar on there but what I also thought set this extension apart is uh, it's particularly rigid for half inch extensions. I was measuring it and uh, the beam on this extension here, if we can, there we go. It's over five eighths of an inch. So I thought, wow, for a half inch extension, having a five eighths inch uh, shank on it uh, makes it pretty rigid. You don't feel much twist on this at all. And it kind of goes along with it having the hex. So I thought it was pretty unique with the hex. Build, it's straight, build quality and finish is definitely pretty good from this O'Reilly's tool. I mean, the only other detractor is, of course, this mechanism if you're using impact sockets. They're usually smooth on the inside except for the one hole, and so it wouldn't hold on to those very well. But uh, the action of this, of this extension is just unbelievable how easy it is to uh, pull a socket on and off. In any type of awkward situation, there's just nothing that would compare to this. It's just unbelievable and super easy and quick and it's actually making me wish i had a whole i'm gonna hunt down who's making these and try to find a whole series of these
I mean, they could easily be the baseline. I like the hex. I like that they are extra rigid, so you don't get the, the torsion, the spring effect, so you're really delivering your energy well. And, uh, I mean, just this action, you know, the, I really like uh, locking extensions, but, you know, they're kind of, a well, one, you get a little bit less anvil strength because there is a hole drilled in it. And two, just because they're always been a little bit annoying to use um, compared just to a regular ball detent, but when it's something like this, which is just super easy to use, um, it makes it a different story. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and commenting as well. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.